Hey Chicken Nuggets, we're coming to you with another video, this time on our Lincoln Electric Torchmate 4400 4 foot by 4 foot plasma table and our Flex Cut 80 plasma cutter. So a little bit going on here, I learned a lot more than I thought I knew in the last couple of months and I figure I'll share that with some of you guys that are possibly looking at buying a little bit more of an expensive table uh, versus a cheaper plasma table and why you would do that, why you wouldn't. I guess we'll take it from there. So let's get into this video and see what we got going on. Okay guys, let's jump into this. So, this table is about two and a half years old. I did a lot of research when originally looking to buy a plasma table. Originally, I had everything and all my products cut by another company on a laser jet, and they started getting behind and behind and slower with the outcome of bringing me my product. So I decided, you know, for a lot of it that wasn't as crucial, I can make that myself if I had a plasma table. So I decided to start shopping around looking for a plasma table and obviously if you guys are watching this video you know as well as I do there are tons of options out there. And I went through all the options and so on and this was a little more of the ex on the expensive side. So all said and done I believe this table delivered to me was about $27,000 um, right in the $27,000 range. And uh, I, I chose the Lincoln. And I also chose the 4x4 four four foot for a few different reasons, we're going to be going over that. When I was looking at all the tables and the prices and so on, I more or less got talked into in, you know, by other YouTube channels and videos and installers and I did a bunch of research on the forums that Lincoln makes the table, Lincoln makes the software, and Lincoln makes the plasma cutter. So everything is on that that shows up here for the $27,000 is made by Lincoln and they would have the most knowledge on how to fix something if there was an issue also they're telling you it's a two three year warranty so I'm like okay with that you're allowed to contact them there is a, a couple of, uh, of their pages and Facebook and so on that you can get on to um, forums uh, directly help but we call them directly if we have any issues and so on so I figured well that's the best route to go because that seems like somebody who has all the pots in stock for this stuff, they know the ins and outs of it, it's not somebody making a table framework, having electronics by somebody else, and then just a random plasma cutter that they, oh, you can use this one, you can use that one. So I bought this as a kit for the extra money, thinking that I'm covered, no matter what happens, by knowledgeable people that will help me out in a situation. So that's where we run into an issue. So like I said, in the two and a half years, we really haven't had many issues, just the smaller things that we, you know, wear and tear and the things we come up with, no big deal. So uh, all of a sudden, the table stopped working. So what it would do is the head unit would come down and it would pierce the part and then it goes over to the screen and it says okay to cut so it'll come down it'll measure the height through amperage pierce the cut and then it'll say okay start following your lines and in, in whatever you have drawn up and it'll roll it around and it'll cut it out so it would go down it would pierce and it would have the voltage and then it would not cut that's it it was over so we played with it played with it clean this grounds and so on trying to figure it out and it, it you know it led into a bigger problem uh, there is a way inside the computer to manually shut that off and figure out your level of your piece and start cutting that way. However, it wouldn't give us complete cuts around a product and that's what you see here in the background 
which you, I, I, if you can. These are small little four inch by four inch pieces and some of them it would cut, some of them it wouldn't finish cutting, some it wouldn't puncture the holes in it. It, it just, I am suppose it could work if you play with it enough, but we couldn't get it working very easily to where we had clean pieces. And now we're throwing away all this material. So we're trying to figure out exactly what's going on and that leads us to what we learned. Okay, so we had a lot of communications with Lincoln. We went through everything they told us. They did walk us through a bunch of stuff. They did have knowledge. We went through, we tested wires for continuity. We tested different areas running through the computer and so on. And Lincoln, knowledge, came, with their knowledge, came down and they said that it is the motherboard inside this Flex Cut 80. That is what they said it came down to. So I said, all right. So now the table itself is out of warranty. It's a two year warranty. We're at about two and a half years. So the table's out of warranty. However, the flex cut has a three year warranty. So it's still inside the warranty. So I'm like, well, that sucks. You know, I'm gonna have some downtime, but it's not so bad. You know, at least it's still under warranty. So they said, well, it's the motherboard. And uh, you know, whatever, here's the part number to the motherboard. If you wanna send it out, we'll give you a list of vendors and we will. you can send it out and have it fixed. So our list of vendors were in Boston, Massachusetts area, New England, and uh, every single person here, every single uh, uh, person under their repair order, uh, repair list and vendor, uh, verified vendors, would not look at this machine for five to eight weeks. Two months they won't look at the machine to tell us what the problem is. And then that's ordering parts, getting parts, so on, putting it back together and getting it. So you're telling me they won't allow me to fix it. So I can't fix this machine myself. I have to send it to a, a vendor. So I went around everywhere through all kinds of connections, air gas and so on, trying to go through other connections on trying to get it, it verified as a linking uh, approved vendor. And nobody could get this thing for a certain amount of time. So I called a mobile repair guy down. So when a mobile repair guy came down and I wanted him to also pinpoint this motherboard and say, yes, we tested continuity, yes, we went around. Okay, you, you have the same. Because now I can't wait to have this thing fixed for that amount of time. I'll just get the pot and I'll fix it myself. Lincoln wouldn't sell me the pot. Lincoln will not sell me the motherboard because I'm not a verified vendor of theirs. So now I have this machine broken. My business is producing zero pots. They will not sell to me the actual pot to fix this. They sold me the table. I didn't go through a vendor. I bought the table. I called them and gave them $27,000. They had no problem taking the money and sending me a table. Now that breaks, a part of that breaks, that is under warranty. I said, you know, I need the pot. They're like, well, you know, we can, you can, here's the pot number. You can order the pot, but we're not going to sell you the pot. So one, they won't help me out on the pot that's under warranty. Two, they won't sell me the pot. And three, they're forcing me to go through their vendors and have my machine and my business not making anything for months. And we said, we can't do that. We can't be down for months. What, what, what's going on? We, we can't have that. We, uh, we need to run. Like just like, obviously if you guys are looking into this, and looking at buying a table, you need to run too. You gotta make, you gotta pay all this stuff back. You gotta pay the bills. They're telling me, well, hey, sorry, we'll cover the warranty, but you're gonna be down for a few months. So I said, there's no way I can have that. So obviously I called in the mobile repair guy. He came down, he said, yes, he had a software place that could possibly fix the motherboard in Georgia. So I mailed the motherboard out to see if they could fix it. If maybe it was something simple, something came unsorted or a fusible link or, you know, something came, it, it could have been, how do you know, right? So it sent it down there and they looked at it. There's a big thick layer. So it, it has this big aluminum board on the back here and then the, the motherboard goes on the front of it. We sent the whole thing down because you can't actually take it apart because they have like a quarter inch three-eighths inch thickness layer of silicone on top of the board, which is thick. 
And uh, so I didn't want to touch anything in there in case it was fixable. Sent it down there uh, to the, the place at Global Electronic Repair and uh, they couldn't fix it. They said, it, you know, it's fried. So send it back. So I went to a bunch of places, I, even on eBay. I went to a vendor, he said he had 35 in stock, but I'm assuming he's a middleman and so on, and I figured, but I, I messaged him and I bought it. He couldn't get it, he refunded me the money. Uh, I went to Air Gas and I said, just give it to me. It's $906 for the pot. So now on a warranted piece, I'm gonna pay the $906 just so I can have it. Just so I can have this thing running. It's it's worth spending the $900 just to have the thing to run. So I spend the $900. Lo and behold, they're on national back order. Lincoln doesn't have any pots to fix this. So I call Lincoln. I says, hey, what's going on? Oh, sorry, we don't have any. We're not going to have any for about, about two months. So I'm like, well, then tell me another well do you guys make a plasma cutter that I can buy a smaller one because I only cut no more than I cut like quarter inch on this and no thicker than that so I don't need an 80 amp uh, machine I said so tell me another plasma cutter you guys make I will purchase that hook it in here send this one out for warranty and then I'll use that other one as a backup it'll be a smaller one I'll use it more as a backup they looked into it and said oh no this is the smallest machine you can use on there the Cutmaster 80. So I suppose they have a Cutmaster 80 and a Cutmaster 125. I said, all right, well, well, how much is that machine? $5,000. So to get myself out of a predicament, it's $5,000 to buy the plasma cutter. So I looked around, this and that. I'm like, well, maybe. Guess what? They don't have any plasma cutters. They don't have any motherboards. They don't have any plasma cutters. They have no way of fixing this. So if I take the pot out myself, they don't care. They want you to send everything to a certified repair place on their list, and it's gonna take months, and they don't have the pots. So if I go sit this somewhere for two months, then they take it apart, find out what the problem is, then order the motherboard that's months out, we're talking three, four months of having warranty work that you are not running your, your company with. It makes no sense at all. So here we are, we're down and out. I like the table, the table has cut great, the table hasn't given me any issues other than, well the small issues, uh, major issues, other than this. But I bought this table under the impression that I had warranties, that it could be fixed by a big company so they would have this stuff in stock and they would work with me. They took my $27,000 without me having to be a vendor, but then will not sell me any parts other than consumables and so on. They won't sell me any parts to work on it. They won't work with me on it at all and, and say, hey, hey, we understand you're having a problem. Hey, we don't want you to go out of business. Hey, we understand you're getting behind. Hey, you may have to lay people off because you don't have product. Hey, you're taking pots off of your website and no longer have that income because you're running out of them and you can't supply the quantity anymore. They don't care about any of that. That's why I went with this company because I thought they would have their shit a little more together and at least be understanding and work with me. So right now I am out $900 on something under warranty. They will not work with me. I have to fix this machine myself. I'm paying a mobile repair guy because I can't wait for their vendors to repair this thing or take time to look at it. So what am I supposed to do? I'm running a business here and I don't have my main piece of equipment to make the pots and they don't want to work with me. They don't care. I mean, I'm just super duper surprised that they are not working with me here. It's incredible, honestly, that I can give them 20 but they won't sell me a piece to fix it. They, uh, they refuse to. And I'm not saying, oh, just give me the pot. How do they know the thing's broken? But I mean, obviously, if I had a repairman come in and diagnose it, well, then I have written proof from a company that I have a problem, and I only want a $900 pot. I'm not trying to get a $5,000 plasma cutter or a computer system for the... I'm just trying to get this thing up and running. You diagnosed it with me, along with the repair guy came in and diagnosed it, and you won't deal with me, you won't work with me, and you won't... I, I mean, if you cut me a break... You understand I bought the table? 
I'm buying consumables. I'm constantly giving you money. And you can't work with me on, on a piece that I need to run? You're not making money off of consumables now because the computer don't run. So obviously I'm not using it. Um... Yeah, so all in all, I made this video just so some of you guys can understand that a warranty and a handshake and a guaranteed promise of all in all, we're the most knowledgeable, this and that, and spending more money on something is not necessarily going to keep you from having headache down the road. I understand right now the supply chain and supply and demand. I understand all of that's kind of screwed up. I get it. But... A company this big that manufactures all their own parts should have enough of these pieces. So, the issue with the motherboard is they're completely sold out. Which means they're having major motherboard problems in this FlexCut 80, clearly. So I talked to a couple of different Lincoln representatives, a couple of different places that are larger dealers for them calling around trying to find these parts. And a lot of those guys are saying, yeah, there's, there's issues with this. So, on top of not selling me the pots. This is a known issue to be in, in, in a problem with this machine. So I'm not just making up, hey, I need a piece. They know they have these problems and they still won't work with me. So I'm just very surprised that such a large company with such a, you know, will, will sell me the table and take my money, but then won't even sell me a pot to fix something that's known to be broken and go wrong with their machines so much where they don't have a welder in stock, a plasma cutter in stock, and they don't have the pots in stock. You can't find them anywhere. So I found one Cutmaster 125 on eBay for $7,000. And I can't, I mean... I can't spend $7,000 just to be up and running uh, that much quicker. So, I don't know. We're dealing with it. I might make a part two on this after we fix the video and so on. I add the pieces and make a different video. So, we are where we are now. We might make a part two video in the future after we fix this and tell you the rest of the story. But I'm just, I'm very shocked at Lincoln when I went above and beyond to get the better of what I thought was going to be more helpful, have more information, more parts in stock, and not have problems, and they just kind of, as far as I'm concerned, they dropped the ball on helping me out. So I do have this computer right now on order at $900, waiting for their order to be fulfilled, and I don't know when that's going to be, so stick with us, keep up uh, an eye out for an upcoming video, and then we'll try to get this table fixed and see what happens, but guys, thanks for watching, like and share for more information on this stuff. We appreciate it.